Hi everyone! Welcome to this episode of Inside My Pen Case. Today I'm here with April. Um, April is a really good friend of Yoseka and she actually hosts the Stationery Cafe podcast, which Neil and I were on last summer. Um, everybody say hi to April and April say hi. <laughs> hi everyone! <laughs> April, you may know me as Penguins Creative and yes, I'm the co-host of the Stationery Cafe podcast and I love stationery. It's, yes. a, it's a dream come true <laughs> right now to be talking to Daisy in real life. You see the stationery. So very excited to be Yeah, here. it's very surreal. Just last summer, I think it was like almost exactly a year ago, Neil and I were sitting right here doing April's podcast here at, in our living room. Um, and that's where we are today, actually. So you may notice that our surroundings are a little bit different. We have taken this episode outside of Yoseka and brought April to our home <laughs> because this is where I am these days with Jacob. Um, so April is here in New York on vacation and we thought we would take this opportunity to invite her on the show and um, do this episode in our house. So we're really glad you could come today and really carve time out of your vacation schedule. For this, this is not work. Well. Talking about stationery is not work. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, it, like um, I think April is probably one of the best people to have on this on the series that we're doing because she is just she knows everything there is to know about stationery. I feel like all like you often know things before I know them even. Like um you are so well informed about all things going on in the stationery world. You're very tapped in and you also like know everyone in the stationary world like you introduced us to people um and you are just such a such a like i don't know a very, a very like a stationary I'm a, I'm a nosy busy body no. and i want everyone to enjoy what i enjoy you're like the epitome of a stationary lover which is why it's perfect to have you on this episode so thank you for being here I'm so happy to be here. Yay! <laughs> this is the first time we've met. You've never really physically been to Yoseka as you live in Seattle, but you're here on vacation. So this is like very, very cool that you're like in our house and doing this with us here today. So just, I need to pinch myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I need to pinch myself because um, for some who might don't know, I actually used to be on the East Coast. And I moved away to Seattle in 2017, and that's right. when you right. guys so opened. So it was like the really weird timing. It was unfortunate. Where were you on the East Coast? I was in Boston. You were in Boston. And I would come to New York City like every other month <laughs> to visit oh my friends. Oh my gosh. And then I made an admission each time I go to a new city, I have to like find every single stationery store, even if they're gift shops or like, you know, car places. Yeah. I call them stationery stores. Yeah. And I think I missed you guys when you guys started out with the market, the Yosei oh, pop-ups. When see, you guys did the pop-ups. Yeah. And then it wasn't until I was in Seattle, I was like, that's okay. We were so under the radar back then, like nobody could have known who we were. There's no way you would have found us. I would have, I would have been like really amazed if you found us back then. But um, yeah, one of the things that amazes me about you is that like wherever you go, you make stationary friends <laughs> and you are so active about pursuing this passion of yours and bringing people into that with you. Um, so I think that's really inspiring and it, it's what makes you so perfect to be here today and I'm very honored to meet you. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, um, let's dive into your pen case. I know that you, um, April is probably someone who has like like much more stationary than just this, let me just say. So I understand, and you guys can all understand that um, this is probably just like one sampling of what you have, and it's not, you may might change around, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, I understand that. But let's let's take a look at what you decided to bring on your trip to New York with you this I time. <laughs> I, I do notice that it's like way bigger than all your past guests. Like, okay, so I try to fit as much as I can, but first of all, this is a pen case. That's from a cute pen case. Everyday Explorers Co. Yeah. In, in, in San Francisco. 
stamps, inks, pens. I really like follow the instruction here and put right. everything, and put everything, everything in, there. Goes in there. <laughs> so I think I'll start with the expensive ones. Oh, so okay. In the bag, pen sleeve is another bag. Yes. <laughs> like bag. Yeah. This is a rickshaw pen sleeve, and I put my fountain pens in there because there's like furry parts um, inside. Oh my god, so it's so soft. It cushions fountain pens. Oh my nicely. gosh, how cute! I didn't know that was the inside of it. I know it's really nice, and so I got my two twisties in nice. here, um, a EF nib and a fine nib. This is the triangular one. How long have you been using Twisbees? Oh, I think Twisbee might have been one of my earliest fountain pens. I think I started with the Pilot Kakunos. Oh, me too! And then after that, it was immediately Twisbee as the upgrade. Mm. And I got this actually when I was in, still in Taiwan, so that was 2014. Okay, oh yeah. wow, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. And then this color ended up being our um, Seattle Pen Group pen, like oh, so, like I, everyone has one. Everyone <gasps> bought this oh, one together, <laughs> so it's kind of like we were thinking about engraving like Seattle Stationery Society on there. <gasps> That's so cute. Because it's our like group pen, so Aww. like you know, yeah, Phyllis has one. You know, Phyllis from yes, Miss Moon. Everyone I have has Phyllis. one. So, mm -hmm. so these two really fun, reliable, and they take so much ink. Like I could so much ink. I fill one up and I'll use it for a year. <laughs> yeah, I know, and it doesn't dry out because it's like so. It's so much ink. In there mm -hmm. and the screw cap keeps it really well sealed I feel like we, we're a big fan of Twisbees too and like the whole story like Taiwan Spee you know like yeah the way you say it oh how would you mean? like Twisbee TW is Taiwan yeah and like with the apostrophe S and B in Chinese <gasps> is wait B. so Taiwan Spee is that why it's it's one of the myth stories and a lot of us go along with it oh it's a myth story <laughs> I feel like there's like a degree of it because the owners in Tai Li in yeah, Taiwan yeah. did mention this before. Because <gasps> this is a brand from Taiwan. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's really funny and right? like cheesy. <laughs> it's very cheesy. <laughs> Which is why it's a little bit embarrassing <laughs> to tell that so story. Funny. But since uh, we both have a little bit of Taiwanese food, yes, oh, I'm from Taiwan. Yes, so yes, yes. My parents are from Taiwan. I have to say that story. Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. Taiwan's B. B means pen. Mm -hmm. So that's. Taiwan's B. Taiwan's B. pen, Taiwan's B. That's really funny. And the Chinese true. name is like nothing close right. to Twisby. Like Sanwen Tang. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't translate at all. <laughs> at so all. yeah, maybe it is Taiwan's B. That's why. <laughs> so there's that. And then my last one is, I'm so happy to bring it here. I wow. have to bring it to you. It's Yosuka. made its way home to us. <laughs> this is so funny. It's so surreal. It's the Sailor Pro Gear. Um, Slim, uh -huh. right? And then like the, the Yoseka yes. brand is the origin. It's our origin and pen. That's so great. What do you have inked in it right now? Right now it's a Kyono no Oto um, pink ink. I forgot the name. Oh, it's the one that's a really like cherry. Cherry pink. Blossom of Keage? No, or that's that's Kyoiro. That's Kyoiro. Is so, it Imayo? Yeah, Imayo oh, Iro. Okay, yes. Okay. It's oh, really okay. fancy. It's like it, a bright pink. Bright pink yeah. inside a bright green pen. Yeah. Ooh, I like it. So when I first got into Sailor Pro Gears, I always was like, if they ever make one in green, I would have to buy it. <laughs> and then you guys came up with it, and even though it's like half transparent and sparkly, I was like, I need to get it. It's my identity now. That's so <laughs> like, funny. Wait, do you not typically like transparent pens? No, it's just that I was thinking more of like a, a non-transparent one in uh -huh, my head. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And then when this came out, it was right when I announced uh -huh. a no no spend. Right, and I then, remember that. And every single person Oops. <laughs> at me. You know who you are. <laughs> Everyone was like, April, you're getting it right. <laughs> and and then I was like, darn I want a no spend. Uh, so, but I secretly bought it. I didn't tell anyone, and it was like May 11th or something on on the Twitch stream. I just randomly took it out and wrote, wrote with it. <laughs> it was the it was the biggest Did show. freak out. I know they're like, like, like we knew it. I knew it. You're getting it. So I had to get it. It's like it's so Aww, beautiful. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. It's like very cool to see you actually using it and to have it come back to us is really interesting. And it's the end nib. And that's when I oh, like the this is the pen that made me decide. Yes, I love an end nib in a Sailor Pro gear, and I'm not gonna deviate. I I have the end nib for that too. And previously I was using the medium fine, mm -hmm. um, but I really like the medium nib actually. It writes so well, and like it feels more smooth, and yeah. it distributes more ink because right. of the thickness. So yeah. and you get to enjoy the ink fine. <laughs> I so love it's it. like great. 
Oh, there's mine. So those are the fountain pens that you carry around on this trip. Yes. Yeah. These Cute. two are both like light blue ink. So Manyo Haha, the mm. same Manyo, mm -hmm. and then this one is Bunku Box Fujiyama Blue, mm. like the mountain. So, so beautiful. Very nice. Very cool. What else you got going on in there? All right, let's see. Where should we start? I know, right? I hear the pens clicking against each other. <laughs> Beating around. That's what Kelly would say. <laughs> I hear them. Okay, here's here's my travel staple, actually. And I feel like this is kind of the pen that like started me off with oh. the Hobonichi journey. Yeah. Uni Pin Fine Line. And so they aren't available. They, these are pigment ink pens, kind of oh. like Sakura Microns. Yeah, yeah. And they weren't available in the U.S. until these past two years. Mm -hmm. Uniball Co. started like having more of these. And this is my Hobonichi drawing pen because it's waterproof. Oh, I use is it, it very waterproof? Very, extremely. You get that question, you know. Is and you watercolor too. I do. That's exactly it. Okay. With the Hobonichi, I used to do though and like paint. Mm -hmm. And with my original style, I guess I still do that sometimes. Mm -hmm. But this would be the pen I outline, mm -hmm. and then I would paint over it, and mm -hmm. like nothing budges. So mm -hmm. my favorite, even more so than the Sakura Microns. Maybe we will add these. <laughs> you guys need to. These are so good. And they recently came out with brush options and oh. like sepia colors. So it's oh, nice. really good for like on the go drawing. Okay. So I have them in 0.3 and 0.7. Okay. Um, April's rave review. My, my go to pen. Yeah. I, when, when it came out in the US, I was like, I told you guys about these years ago, like when I started out, 2014. Wow. I would draw with this. Yeah. And I'm like, what pen are you using? I'm yeah. like, you can't get it here. You want to try the Sakura Micron? I mean, it's not as good, but yeah. <laughs> so I got these. Funny. I used to hoard them when I go back to Taiwan for like vacation. Oh, I like the way these look too. Actually, better than the Sakura Microns. They're really and the and the tips don't bust mm -hmm. as easily. Well, I think that's a hit or miss sometimes. Some Sakura Micron last, but a lot mm -hmm. of people maybe they wear to, down. It used to be like a quality yeah. issue maybe. Um, so there's that. Um, and then for how much I like gel pens and pens, I always have the staple. This is the. Yes. A lot of people know I talk about this. The uni. You do. I, I remember. I can't remember like which episode of the podcast I was listening to. But it's you usually were, like, like the top three pens or like. Yeah. Oh no! It favorite. was with Abby Sai, mm -hmm. and she likes the Sarasa, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. And um, you were like. <laughs> I thought you would just be like, sometimes you know in a conversation you're just like, mm -hmm, those are great, but you're like, no, this <laughs> those is, are not great. This is the best. You will think no DX and I buy like box of 10 wow. on Amazon and I go through them so fast because oh I gosh. just write every day like I have my planners here and like my work stuff and I just use this like I have one clip into my bag yeah I have one in my pouch wow these so are this like, is like your writing pen these are like the rubber hairbands you know you always have it around yeah. and then you lose them as well yeah. but you always have a replacement yeah so yes, this yes. is this is the pen because it's not expensive right it's speaking like, of which I've never seen this kind of hair tie <laughs> it's very cute. The telephone cords, these holds <laughs> hair so well. Really? <laughs> I have like really wily hair, so, so these holds really well. So this is like my staple pen. Okay. But recently, you guys start carrying them too. There's an upgrade to this, right? The, yeah. The Uniball 1. 1. And yeah. I've fallen like deep. Uh, fast. So when do you decide to use one and when do you decide to use the other? When they come up with pretty colors. colors. <laughs> of course, of course. I brought on my special ones. Those and are, oh, those are like the tea color set? No, I haven't gotten them yet. Oh. They're waiting for me at home. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> Uniball 1, basically they said this is like the more pigmented version of it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they always come up with new limited edition colors mm -hmm. in Japan, mm -hmm. and I like snack them. Yeah, and I love these colors. These are the fun colors, and I get them, I think they come in a variety like 0 0.38, 0 0.7, 0 0.5. 0 0.5, yeah. So I, I, I started out with one from you guys, like the, the Bordeaux, or no, no, Bordeaux, yeah, Bordeaux red, mm -hmm. black. Bird of the purple, bird of purple, probably? the yeah. purple-ish black one, and then the dark green one, and then when the limited edition came out, I was like, All right, yeah, get these, gotta get those, and then they keep coming out with more, oh, and no. now I have like ten-ish all limited edition yeah. colors. The limited editions really get people. Mm -hmm. yeah, they really get us. And the <laughs> names are so pretty. Like this one's like apricot. Yeah. This one I think is like mountain grape. Wow. And like this one's pistachio. Like who wouldn't so want to write with a pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Pistachio. pistachio. <laughs> and 
and so I, I love these. So I always have the colorful ones to kind of complement the black one. Mm. I don't get these in black because it's boring, and I just get, right. <laughs> I just use this one instead. Yeah. But yeah. Those are great. So these are like your go-to for writing in your journals. Yes. Right. Although like people love using a Hobonichi for mm -hmm. fountain pens, they're mm -hmm. like it's great. I still love using gel pens on them. So right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is really good. Mm -hmm. Do you find that? Um, like these dry well on the on the paper and the hobonichis too. Yeah, yeah. I'm not very concerned about smudging and mm -hmm. just the way I write and stuff. But you know, they're just reliable. They show up. The color show up really well. And mm -hmm. there's something about writing with gel pens on like Tomoe River paper. It's just it glides. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, the yeah. color just like sits on it so well. Yeah. And I think these are supposed to dry faster too, right? I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I'm not really certain on that part, but I don't mind them. I just like having different color yeah. uh, pens used on different pages. Right, and these are such pretty colors to go together. Yeah, so we didn't mention this before, but um, you know, obviously April is a big stationery enthusiast. Um, she uses a lot of different planners and notebooks, um, but I think. I, when I think of you, I think of Hobonichi probably, right? Mm -hmm. That's probably your yes. main. Yes. Um, yeah, you're every, like you, she'll post on her Instagram like her beautiful layouts and spreads um, on her pages and they're all, they're all like very beautiful. Um, yeah. So yeah, you're a Hobonichi lover and you are hob die hard Hobonichi die fan. Hard. Yes. So it was so great to know that you guys started carrying Hobonichi too. Oh yeah. I was like, hmm, should I like grab one when you get, when I'm here? But I don't think you guys have them yet. We don't have them. Well, actually, I think they might have just arrived. Like half of them might have just arrived yesterday. I'm very out of touch with the store right now. <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on over there. It's okay. I already I placed mine on okay. my order. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> Um, yeah. But yeah, so it's it's perfect timing too to have you here right after Hobonichi Day. It's great. Okay, oh, so, so. <laughs> <laughs> what's next? Let's see what else is next. Okay, so we were talking about Sarasa, and I love this one. Um, yeah, Sarasa Grand. Yes, the I've never seen that particular body though. It's again another limited another edition. Another limited edition, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, gray green uh -huh. is the ink in it. Ooh, I know it's so beautiful. Oh, and this one makes me feel very princessy. <laughs> Like just it laugh, really it looks like that. a wand. It does. <laughs> it looks or it looks like a, like makeup or something. I mean, like, the original ones look great already. Like I have the true, I have the green true. one. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But this one makes me feel a little princessy with like the white and like the things. Um, Wait, so this is not like the green black, right? No, it's, it's a, a new gray green color oh, in there. Wow. I wish we could buy refills for that, but it comes with a limited say, edition. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh. I think this set they had like an orange and then like a purple and then the green and so it was like three limited yeah. edition the sarasa grand so pretty i should have brought my original oh my gosh one too. It's very pretty yeah take a look at that it's so nice and the great thing is the refills you can just put in the original color refills. yes yes yeah that's what i love about these mm -hmm. too oh my gosh this pen is like next level it feels heavier than the original sarasa which are already also very good like yeah i did i bring that i probably didn't but i used to Alongside with my Signal DX, I would use the retro color, uh -huh. the Sarasa retro color set. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sarasa clip. Yeah, that's yes. nice. Yeah, those are great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. All right, what's next? What's next? Okay, because I'm on like a travel trip, I usually bring like a white um, gel pen. This is the broad one. Yeah, yeah. So I can like to urban sketching, so these go really well with the black um, mm. drawing pens. Mm -hmm. And because I have like a, a fun color inserts this time in my Traverse notebook, the, the teal one, the special Traverse Factory limited edition, the green paper. Yeah. So this white pen, white gel pen. You draw on the green paper with the yeah. white pen. It looks Ooh. so good. Yeah, exactly. That sounds so cute. <laughs> it's very fun to kind of do that and mix and match. And I also use this as white out sometimes. Oh, do you? <laughs> yeah, I just cover over the original marking. That's resourceful. I'm <laughs> <laughs> bring white out. Let's see, what else? Uh, I have the Sailor Shikiori brush pen. So pretty. Is that the what color is that? Is that the, the waga. Oh, waka Uguisu. Waka Uguisu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bird. It's a lot of vowels in that name. <laughs> like I, I have a lot of green things with me, and so this is great because it's like brush tips, and then you can like do large markings on it, 
And then it comes with this side. I actually don't use this side much. Yeah, I don't use that side much either. It's, it's very fine. It's very fine. almost like a little too faint. Mm -hmm. um, Especially with the lighter colors. Right, right, like, right. The set has like that pink one. Yeah. And you can barely see it. Oh, use the Sakura Mori color? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you use this for like calligraphy, like lettering? What do I do. I make headings. So, you know, like. Okay. I guess it's brush lettering, but I don't do it well enough. But yeah. when I make an entry, I want like a bold title, mm -hmm. then I would just use the brush tip to kind of mm. like spell out the thing. Yeah. But yeah, so that's how I use it. So pretty. I may have a few pages in there. Oh, yeah. To, to show. Let's see. I, I brought with me the short trip refill. Nice. That you guys will start carrying too. This is the, these are like half basically. Oh, okay, cute. So like, yeah, New if York I, City. New York City. Oh, this is so cute. Stickers that I use with my sticker refill. <laughs> <laughs> I have everything. I really pack this trip for like travel, so everything's really compact. Oh, I love how you're using the short trip refill for your short trip. Yes. <laughs> it's so very, perfect. Too short of a trip in my opinion. <laughs> I need to be here longer. Anyway, so there's that. And then... Um, Oh, this is another one of my favorite. Yeah, the touch sign. The touch sign pen. It's so good. I feel like so far we've done maybe three or four of these inside my pen cases, and yeah. three out of four people have had the. Hi, Esther. <laughs> <laughs> Esther's making her cameo appearance. Um, she's being very nosy about your pen. <laughs> she's like, yes, oh, opinions did you say the about touch this sign? too. <laughs> And you have that in like the gold ochre color. Mm -hmm. It's yellow ochre, right? I but it so. writes very gold. Uh -huh. Like it makes it feel like I'm like embellishing lettering mm, with gold. Yeah. And you were saying brush lettering. I couldn't do it really well with this brush tip, but I can do it really well with this one. Oh. Like I think for anyone who wants to get into yeah. lettering or yeah. brush lettering, this is this should be your go-to beginner pen. Yeah. The tip is so easily control right. like it's sturdy enough for yeah. you to do the thin and thick, right, thick strokes right. some people do the tumble brush but i feel like that's not a I good think, one for a beginner i think because this one has such a smaller felt tip mm -hmm. it's much easier to control yeah. like the bigger the felt tip you use it's harder to control the lift variation yes exactly. it's much greater <laughs> so i highly recommend the pentel sign touch pens and i have all the well, the new colors, I think, when they first came out. Yeah. The lavender. I love those new the colors. The green. The nuance colors. Yes. Uh, yeah. I have all of them all, but I just still love the gold. Hi, are you saying hi in April? This is April. She's been here for a while. You're very <laughs> slow. <laughs> oh, okay. She's just going to chill here with us for a bit. She just rolled on her back and it's adorable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, I hope you don't mind. I hope you're not allergic. No, I love cats. Okay, good. I wish I have a cat. Everyone knows. Okay, so that was a little cameo from Esther. Um, and now she's repositioned herself on the couch over there. <laughs> but what's, what's next in your pen case, April? <laughs> next, um, to finish off the brush pen trio, I have the Fudeno Suke. Oh, interesting. The Tombo. Okay. This one's very firm. This one, I yeah, this one's the firm one. They have one that's a little bit soft. A soft it, one. It feels like this one, yeah. but I like the firm one. Mm -hmm. um, also, to just like write like more readable like sentences. Mm -hmm. uh, my Hobonichi style, I have like the header. I have the regular font. Mm -hmm. The the I it, I kind of like stylize it like yeah. when you write a blog post. Oh, you have like the H one, yeah. Yeah, 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 and then you yeah, have the regular yeah. text, yeah. and then you have the quotes. Uh -huh. And so these are the for the quotes. Okay, okay. <laughs> like extra bold, a little Very bit or bold official. text. So it's kind of like these these three kind of go together. I would I would like pair. My entry always consisted of like the bold letterings and like a little bit a little bit more bold and then the regular lettering. That's so cool. I feel like because you format your entries in that way, it's probably very easy for you to like look back on. Sometimes when I'm looking back, like and I, I feel like the main reason I enjoy journaling is because I like to look back on things. Mm -hmm. But when I look back on things, <clears throat> sometimes I can't read my own hand. <laughs> so I feel like being really organized with like your your like color coding mm -hmm. and like headings and things like that can make it very easy for you to just flip through and be like, oh, I did this that day. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. And people said my pages look like magazines because I have to do those, yeah. right? And my, and I kind of like 
coded my text like around the doodle. Oh my god, that's so true. <laughs> I'm so, thinking about it. It really does look like a magazine. Like a magazine. <laughs> that's hilarious. So like I'm now I'm like realizing Were myself that, that's why I did that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's that. Um, let's see. Okay, there are some little brush pads. We're getting into like the that kind of tool now. So I I brought this. Um, this has been with me for a long time. Probably since 2013. It has not. Um, wow. It has not run out yet. So the Japanese Sharpie, <laughs> it's like those you write on cardboard boxes because this yeah. is actually a post office collaboration. Mm -hmm. You can tell it's like Japanese, Japan Post. Oh, cute. So two ends. Yeah, this is like the twin marker, right? It is like a twin, twin end, but they're like alcohol based, so mm -hmm. they would bleed through. So I brought this just for like, you know, in case I need to write on like boxes or yeah, like yeah. suitcases or yeah. anything like this that. end is also super useful. I feel like the fine tip end. Yeah. I really enjoy that. So this but is a this utility I've marker, seen, like the um, post office one. I How have a, cute! I, no, I didn't bring, but it comes in like a post office glue stick as oh well, like in the God. same pattern. Yeah, this and I have is that. so adorable. Mm -hmm. I love it. So this is a utility pen. Like I don't use that in any of my journal. Right. This is for like environmental use. But it's lasted you since 2014. Yeah. You said probably because I don't use it that much. No, oh, but like it doesn't dry out or anything. That's very impressive. This is perfect for like when I, I think also for like writing postcards or when I go to the USPS and I need to mail off something mm -hmm. and they always have those cardboard boxes mm -hmm. and these pens are too fine for that. So mm -hmm. I will use these pens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, and then. Um, because I, when I usually go on outings to do some urban sketching, I will bring a pencil. And this is my new toy. This is my plotter pen. That's a very nice pen. You should, you should is it a pencil it. or a pen? It's a mechanical pencil. Oh. It's made of brass and oh. it's a matte black form plotter and you twist it to... Twist it? To do a little like twist oh, oh. to click out. Ooh. It's Ooh. really pretty. And how do you retract it? And then basically you just click and then you kind of, you know... Oh, okay, okay. Push I it see. Back. like that. Oh, it's very nice. It's really pretty, really fun. Very I have a weighted, weighted. Yeah, and I don't know. I just feel so nice in my hands. Yeah. <laughs> Is there an array? I just got Esther's fur on it. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Sleek, beautiful black <laughs> mechanical pencil. Wow. No erasers. I have the eraser here. Oh, you have the Mount Fuji eraser. Mount Fuji one. Yay! Your Mount Fuji is almost coming out. I know, it took me so long. That's okay, you must not make very many mistakes. <laughs> I just don't use it that much. I like intentionally like erase to create this like slide. Neil and I did that when we first got when we first got that Mount Fuji eraser, we erased for like a good 45 minutes. It takes forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yet I bought like two more from you guys. You know the, the packs you guys have yeah, with the special the new one. <sighs> so pretty. Those I'm are like, really cute. It's like it, this is so meaningless, but also you just want it. <laughs> Like what? Did Why wouldn't you want an eraser that this shapes like Mount Fuji? Okay, I, I know exactly. So yeah. it's just like it serves no other purpose except it makes you happy. Right, and I love it. Yeah, I understand. So yeah, the this one doesn't come with an eraser, so I bring so my you own. carry around your cute Mount I mean, Fuji eraser. I need to use it. It's an excuse to bring it out and like show people exactly. an eraser that looks like Mount Fuji, <laughs> and you don't. <laughs> I can't wait to move on to the red one. I feel oh, like that yes. one feels more Japanese than this yeah. one. I wish I could get the pink one. They have one for the during the cherry blossom season, oh, and it's in pink. Pink, pink. But I think it's like one of those limited edition Bungu Joshi event items. So I, I don't have that one. Let's see. Um, not my okay. And these are the other tools. I can just grab them all out. So. A, a dot liner from Kokuyo. It's got cat with a cat it. on it. It used to have the insert that has the cat shape, <gasps> as you like dot glue it. Oh my god! So you can see the animal. Oh my god! It's, it's so useful only for the user for right, a brief right, second, right. And, then and then you cover it. <laughs> right, but it brings so much joy in those few seconds. I'm and now sure. it's just a regular insert. That's so cute. Wow. Cute. That is. That's like the epitome of Japanese stationery, I feel like right there, like having your glue dot shaped like a cat yes. for no one to know except for you. Like just that <laughs> brief moment when yeah. you lay it down, you're like, oh, yeah. that's so cute. <laughs> so I love that thing. I think they come out with like a squirrel and then there's like one with like dogs or something. So there's many different types of things. So inserts. cute. 
Um, okay, and then I have my ruler from Muji, just your staple one. But I actually need to get a new one because this one's made of plastic, mm. and I sliced, I sliced through it with like a oh. cutter, you know, like oh, a, wait, it, what? Like, oh, with like an exacto. Yeah, right? exactly. Because oh, no. it's plastic, it's so weak. Oh no, I need a brass one. So you use this more as like a straight edge, I guess, right? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. true. Some people use washi to, oh uh, sorry, use the ruler to cut washi tape. Mm. Have you heard of that usage? No. Like you kind of put it on the edge and you rip that way. Oh, but this one. It's too filmsy for that. Mm. I need to get a brass one or a metal ruler, I think. Um, yeah. This one is when you when you draw a line, it like skips over where I sliced it. So uh -oh. I just used it to kind of, I don't know, draw straight edges occasionally. I don't even do it that much, so I don't know why I brought it, but it's okay. It's good to have. It's good to have. And I know it's that kind of feeling where you're like, it, I, I feel safe. Yeah, you I don't have know. A ruler. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't use it, but I feel safe knowing I have it. Okay, so this is the Tombow Pip glue in that I think it was also they came up with these like elegant um, they call it smoky colors, mm. the smoky browns, the pastel yes. blue, yes. pastel pink. Yeah. So this is the smoky brown, and I actually just finished one. These also take me forever to go through, so I'm really happily yeah. <laughs> using a new one right now. Is there a reason that you like to use this one versus the other ones? Um, I think this one just like it's just more compact. I love mm, the size. It is compact. A lot of people like the glue. Right. And those come like huge Bulky. sticks. Yeah. Um, and this one just fits like a little lipstick. So I mm. I really like this one. Yeah. So I alternate. If I need to stick like stickers or receipts, I'll use this one. But if I'm doing like little scrapbooking, I'll use this mm. one for the edges. Mm. And then finally this one, I was so afraid of bringing it because I wasn't what? worried that oh, the, the TSA might yeah. confiscate it. But then, so I didn't bring it to the San you Francisco. You could not hurt show. anyone with these scissors. Um, they're like <laughs> the saxa, right? Like saxa poche, and with the limited edition color, yeah. you push and it comes out. Super blunt tips. Very blunt. <laughs> but Very I just, safe. I, I was still worried. You so. can run with these. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad at the pen show. I was just I just came from from San Francisco. Someone brought it safely uh -huh. through TSA. So I'm yeah. like, oh, okay, okay, I can bring it to New York now. Oh my God, imagine if it got confiscated. With the special limited yeah, edition too. That would be tragic. And like they wouldn't even understand like what they walked away with. I know. You know, like that's the worst part. It's like you don't understand. <laughs> This is such a good thing. I love it so much. So I've been, I actually used this so much already in my short time here in New York. Really? Just doing like cutting yeah. washi tape, doing little receipt journaling. Yeah. So there's that, my whole thing. And then because this pouch is so big, I can fit so many things in. I occasionally carry washi samples. Of course you do. Mm -hmm. It's very convenient for like on the go scrapbooking yes. or like journaling. So I actually have way more than these. Oh my gosh, these are bit. so cute. Happy Daya. And oh then goodness. these are the Furukawa Shiko washi tapes. Oh my god. Oh my god. So adorable. I got these. These are plastic like cards. I got these from Taiwan. Mm. Mm. It's very popular to do washi samples in Taiwan. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's such a good idea. Like cause a, a lot of times like people will share washi samples mm -hmm. with, with friends and stuff too because the more the merrier. The merrier. Exactly. <laughs> and you don't have to like bring rolls with you. So exactly. this is super convenient. Very convenient. And then sticker flakes because why not? I, I have so many sticker ah. flakes. So you know, going on trips, journaling on the go, these yeah. are excuses to use on my sticker flakes. And yeah. these are the new mind wave ones. So mm. stationary theme and bakery theme. Because I know that these are the two main like like veins of my trip. So cute. <laughs> so I could use both of these. Wow. And these new ones are great because they have like they're not only like stickers for decorative purposes, they're like memo space. Like you know, they're like larger oh. stickers you can write on. How Divider. You know what's funny? Like I, I'm gonna ask you this. We, what a question that I get from a lot of the people sometimes is, um, do you have a trick for peeling flag stickers? And I never know what to say because I don't have a trick. I just kind of do it, and I never know what to say. So I'm wondering, as you are a stationary expert yourself, if you have a trick for peeling flag stickers. I do have a, I do have a trick. <gasps> April has a I trick see, for us. I see everyone struggling with their nails. Yes, that's what I do. I'm like, that's not how you do it. Yeah, how do <laughs> so you do it? Let's do a little demo, shall we? So there's actually two kinds. So there's the PET tapes, right? Right. The Those ones. are really hard because they're like they're harder. Plastic. Yeah. And then 
there's sticker flakes. So there's actually two ways to do it. Um, one. Wow, you're such an expert. Always I use like... <laughs> your thumbs. Okay. okay. I'm, it's funny. I'm having trouble even. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. So there's the non-sticky side and sticky side. I would always use my thumb. Are these washi? Yeah, these are washi. I think the washi are much easier to peel. So always opinion. have the the. You know the exterior, like the sticky side, because the the goal is to use your thumb, uh -huh. and as the friction peels it, the sticky side catches onto your thumb, and oh. then it just opens very easily. Mm. Like if you do it the other way around, when you do this, when you like your friction tries to like open the thing, mm. it's not the sticky side that catches onto right. your thumb, so right. you can't peel it off easily. Oh my god, so. that makes so much sense. So like you use friction of your thumb to kind of like make it open a little bit and then your thumb catches onto the sticky yeah. side and then that's it. That's so true. Instead of like, you know, doing with your thing. It's you know what, I guess that is what I do, but I never was able to put it in a way that <laughs> would make sense to another person. But that <laughs> makes a lot of sense. Exactly. Thank you so much. Well, there's the tip. Wow. Mm -hmm. Have you ever shared that with anyone before? No, I do it all the time. I like to oh, talk really? about it on stream. And when people are doing it, struggling, and I'm like in the chat, use your thumb, let the sticky part catch onto your thumb. That's so funny. <laughs> and, but funnily enough, with like another material though, I think it was like sticker paper. Yeah. The, the, you know where you like buy letter size sticker and you print photos, mm -hmm. glossy size photos. Those I had to do it the opposite way for some reason. Oh. I think there's another thing with it, like some people like to do it the other ways because Another thing you can do is when you when you peel it off and you like fold it down really fast mm -hmm. to the backings. Mm -hmm. So if you do it that way, you won't hurt the stick. You won't hurt the illustrated side. You like basically savage the the back side. Oh, like you know, you use your you, you kind of do this and you like fold it down. It's really hard to explain because I see not with this kind though. With those washi sticks ones, uh -huh. I would use my thumb to catch it. Yeah. But with the harder exterior ones, yeah, I would usually savage the backing so you can like peel off easily. Yeah. Then those I would do it the other way around. I see. I may need to do a tutorial. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah. But yeah. Well, that was very helpful. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> so this is wonderful contents of your pen case. Um, and do you want to do uh, a little walkthrough of maybe some of your urban sketches or anything like that that you want to share with us? I'll actually share my New York short trips. So. Okay. Because I actually put a lot of stuff here. I didn't know why I carried them all. But this is like just a typical Traverse Notebook refill except it's this special Traverse Factory one called the Short Trip because it's like half the pages. Right. Um, and so I've been using it to document my trip to San Francisco actually uh, for the past week so as cute. well as New York and so I love like I said I do headings and I write with the right. <laughs> Pinnie Ball signal and I do do those in illustrations and I, I combine them with receipts so it's I like a struggle. I love that. I style. love that it's over the receipt. And so when I was waiting at the airport, like I was there too early <laughs> and so I, I sketched a little bit. That's so cute. And so this is in sig this is using the signal? Uh, this is using the uni pen Oh, fine the line. uni pen Because I, I figure when I go home, I can like water. color. I don't know why, but I keep forgetting to bring my watercolor for both trips. So I, I wish I would have shown it here, but I have a very portable setup too. You forgot or you decided against it? Maybe I also subconsciously know <laughs> I'm going to be doing so much stuff, I'm yeah. not going to get my watercolor in. So That's that's true. You can always go back and watercolor it in though, so that's good. Exactly. So like I got like receipts from a nice splurge at oh, Daiso. Oh my gosh. Um, so this is kind of like a travel sort of thing. and. These, I need to fill these in. Wow. Is this a stamp? These are stamps. Wow. So it was like so an Emma meetup, and so we all like exchange stuff. So normal. And I love cutting those like long memo sheets, you know, yes. the ones that you hit to send. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one you write like letters with. Yeah. Like I like using them as backgrounds. Oh, wow. So I would print them and paste it here. Like oh, this cute, one. cute, cute. And write on it instead. Oh, <laughs> and then this is the white. Yes. The white. How cute! They write well on colored paper. Um, no one and I, I like write cues for myself so I would know what to put on it. Oh my when god! I get she got group photo here, so this is like where she's gonna put in her group photo. <laughs> when later I print on. the photos later on, 
And so this is, you know, I started documenting them. I have a lot of fun. I can't believe this is just from your trip. Like, how long was your trip? My trip was like, that one was like five days. So five, five days. This is like, this is a lot of uh, <laughs> pen show photos here. Wow. <laughs> And so stuff like that, and so and then New York City. So oh my gosh, days. what's your journaling process like? How do you usually do it the same time every day, or um, I try to um, I try to catch up on them at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. But if not, what I'll do is actually I this I, the trip I learned from Kelly, my co-host. Mm -hmm. I use a short um, passport refill, mm -hmm. and I would just write like daily recaps very quickly like just kind oh, of oh and then use this to, to fill that exactly in later as a reference so this is my portable one i love that with like random the travel tools one too this has some sketches too oh my gosh random journaling and then when i meet up with friends they can like i was like oh what are you write on this oh so cute so cute i met mountain of ink Kelly you mountain did ink. oh in san francisco it's at the san francisco pen show and i was like can I have your, what, a like, what a celebrity! What a celebrity! And she signed it. Oh my god! And she said just my name, and I said no. Can you write Mountain Thing too? <laughs> <laughs> and so I have that. And then I, you know, we we got the stamp caravan at the yeah, Traverse Company yeah. booth. So I like, you know, took a bunch of stamps. I don't know if I'm gonna cut them out. Maybe not. You know, it's just for fun. How fun! So this is my portable one in the passport size. So I actually cute. carried my passport here this time, so it really served yeah. its purpose as like a passport holder. I've been seeing. Oh, I've been seeing it. You can bring it like everywhere. And this pouch is perfect for your COVID card. Oh, look at that! It fits in perfectly. So have you had to use it at all here? No, I've been using the Oops. digital version. So that okay. Works. Oh yeah, yeah. This is like very, but, very smart. But I brought it just in case. Cool. And that's my small one. But yeah, usually when I travel, I don't bring my Hobonichi because yeah. it's bulky and heavy. It is. Yeah, April uses the cousin. <sighs> so uh, that one's like not travel friendly. So I would use my Traverse notebook instead. And yeah. this is where I'll document everything. I use like the zipper case, the leather one. Wait, so are you now going to go back when you go back home to put things in your Hobonichi? Yes. Wow, this is a lot. <laughs> it's, it's dedication to fill up those it pages. It really is. Oh my but God. it's so much fun though, because yeah. you get to use stickers. Yeah, like, yeah. I have a bunch of stickers saved from New York City. Yeah. Um, Sissy Art Cafe, do you know her? She's, mm -hmm. she's based in New York too. Yeah. So she designed actually just last month a set of stickers that's yeah. like Manhattan theme. Oh, cute. I didn't bring them, but I'm going to use them in my Hobonichi. Oh. So I can't wait to go back. And I'm going to just print out, like, you know, usually when I already do a travel spread, I would cheat and my Hobonichi would just be filled with photos. Mm. So it's very easy to fill up a page. Mm. And but then I can use some Manhattan stickers from Cute. Sissy and, there and all that stuff. Wow, mm -hmm. that's so great. Well, thank you for showing us your pen case and your traveler's notebooks. Mm -hmm. That was so much fun. <laughs> it was like so fun to see everything. So many things. Yeah, yay. Um, okay, well, is there anything else you want to share? I guess one, one more thing I, is the water. Oh, oh yay, water. the new one. So these are like for fun and these are, this is actually like planner planners. Okay. So I would have like my schedule and. It's um, so nice, the leather. I know. Looks and like really nice. practical list, like packing list and mm -hmm. stuff. So things I don't really want to go into like my, my pretty book. Mm -hmm. This is like, I still have to keep track of some work notes in here in the, in the journal style. It's just really cute. I, I, I didn't realize I would like be bringing this, but. I've been doing fun spreads in it as well. So cute! So I think that's the three planners I brought, or three journals, planners, whatever you call them, for the trip. So yeah, um, that's basically it. I love looking at your stack of planners and journals and supplies here. It just brings me a lot of joy. <laughs> yeah. It brings me a lot of joy too. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well thank you so much for showing us around your pen case. I know it could be like a very intimate tour for some people but i really appreciate you showing us inside i wish i could show more but oh they're all back home <laughs> maybe next time next next time um you come to new york we can do a part two yes. yeah <laughs> um so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed um looking at what was inside april's pen case and be sure to check out 
April and Kelly's podcast on the Stationery Cafe where you um, talk about all things stationery, um, all of the news, the relevant things that are going on in the stationery world, mm -hmm. and also they do really fun interviews with uh, fun people yeah. in the stationery world as well. We have ones with guests, and then we have the happy hours, which right. is weekly, where Kelly and I just like talk about new products. Right, <laughs> yeah. Up. And oh yeah, and we started Patreon too earlier oh, this yeah. year. Oh so yeah, that would be interesting. Exciting. Want to support that so definitely check them out. Support their Patreon and thank you for watching. Bye everyone. Bye.